de bien vouloir venir dans un instant, bien sûr, à cette tribune, en torse protocolaire, bien entendu, euh, à la demande du président euh, Michel Lauré. Il recevra son prix des mains de Bruxelles. Voilà. Nous allons inviter encore une fois, et j'espère que les hôtesses vont l'y accompagner, 
le président Vapakandia, lorsqu'il aura terminé, voilà, pour remettre son prix à Harold I. Dole Jr. Voilà. We're going to be receiving Ambassador Avla Dole, who is a partner in, in America. He created the first Afro-American bank. And as our speaker said it at the forefront of the ceremony, is the only Afro-American to have the headquarters on the New Crest, sorry, on the New York Stock Exchange. Welcome to our podium. It's an honor to have you here. Please put your hands together for him. Il est donc fondateur de la plus ancienne banque d'investissement américaine. Il produit, bien sûr, il fournit des produits et services d'investissement aux clients institutionnels. Et c'est bien sûr à ce titre qu'il va recevoir ses mains d'un personnage prestigieux, le président honoraire de la Banque africaine de développement, président Baba Karndiaï. Ambassador Dole has been rewarded tonight for his significant contribution to the economy, significant contribution to Africa's development, and he's receiving his award from the hands of President Babakar Ndiaye, two prominent men. Please put your hands together for them. Il reçoit le prix, bien sûr, d'honneur de l'engagement pour l'émergence économique de l'Afrique. He is receiving the honorary reward for engagement for the economic upliftment of Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's truly an honor uh, to receive this award, and it is so important to me that my brother has given me this award. It comes from his hands. We met some 32, 33 years ago and became fast friends and comrades in arms, if you will. The things that, and I can't talk about myself when I'm on the stage with Babakar NDI. Uh, this man opened up Africa to the financial markets. He secured the first AAA rating for Africa with the African Development Bank receiving that designation some 32 years ago. That led to the opening of sovereign debt being rated with the ability to sell bonds in the open market. And this was not an easy path. I'm reminded uh, of the story uh, of Greek mythology that my mother objected to my father teaching me, uh, especially the way he taught it. In Greek mythology, Prometheus is shackled to the Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains is the area and the derivation of the word Caucasian. Prometheus was shackled to the mountains because he shared light and heat for humanity. And his burden was every day the birds came and ate out his liver. But since he was a titan, each night he grew back his liver. But the story is that, and this is the way black men have suffered, it's a constant suffering, but it's one that must you must prevail against. In the Old Testament, we are taught that Noah and his son Ham and Ishmael, Ham is the 
forefather of the black man and the Bible teaches that he will always be the servant of servants and Ishmael became the forefather of Islam as we know it. In the New Testament we learn that there were only two people to carry the cross to Calvary. One was Jesus, we all know that. And the other was a black man that was taken from the crowds by a Roman centurion. And his name was Simon of Serene. Babacar knows the challenges that a black man faced and Africa has faced. And he moved to change the world to include Africa. Babacar has been a diplomat peacemaker extraordinaire. When Colonel Gaddafi wanted to reach out to the U.S., Colonel Gaddafi gave Babacar a handwritten in Arabic note to the U.S. government. That, have you ever told that story? <laughs> no, uh, thank you. Um, when there was a consideration for the new head of the UN and it was agreed that it would be an African that was a stalemate basically um, with Boutros, Boutros Scali and it was agreed by the superpowers that if Boutros Boutros Ghali was not elected on the next ballot, the name of Babakar NDI would be placed into consideration. Well, we, we know of his role with Shelter Afrique, with the African Business Roundtable, and the African Export-Import Bank. But when you look at the history of Africa and you look at the role that Nelson Mandela played, as a banker we always say things go back to money. During the 80s, there was uh, an African-American by the name of Hewland Fierce who represented, and he was a senior executive vice president with Chase, representing Africa and the Middle East. In 1985, Hewland Fierce, on his way to South Africa, stopped in Abidjan and said that he was on a very serious mission. What he did, was he, he went to uh, Johannesburg and Pretoria and let the South African governments know that Chase Manhattan would not renew the debt of South Africa. That was the end of May. The beginning of June, the South African currency exchange was closed the Johannesburg Stock Exchange was closed and South Africa was in default on all of its debt. Weeks later, President Bota gave his Durban speech and it 
everybody thought he had an epiphany. He didn't have an epiphany. He was broke. And he was broke because of this move by Chase. To a very large extent, the African American that was in that position to do that was there because he was a banker for the 50 countries of Africa, but he was also the banker for the African Development Bank. So I praise my brother for his collateral influence in the bringing down of apartheid. Babakar has just recently been selected to have his papers housed at Boston University's Pres African Presidential <laughs> Library. Boston University is the home uh, or the alma mater of Martin Luther King and his papers are also there. Babakar is the only non-sovereign president whose papers have been included. So the, <clears throat> to me this evening is, uh, and I, I truly thank you for the award, but this is the evening where we celebrate the her heroic man that uh, has laid a path for us all. Thank you very much. Tous nos remerciements à l'ambassadeur Doyle qui nous a fait parcourir les milieux de la finance de l'Afrique. Il nous a fait comprendre combien en utilisant des images de la mythologie grecque, de l'Ancien Testament, du Nouveau Testament, il nous a fait comprendre combien même si l'homme noir souffre, il reste résistant, tel le phénix y renaît de ses cendres. Il contribue à l'économie, à l'essor de l'économie de son continent. Veuillez applaudir s'il vous plaît l'honorable ambassadeur. Il a également rendu un vibrant hommage à M. Babacar Ndiaye, qui est une icône. Nous avons deux dinosaures qui descendent, mais des bâtisseurs de l'Afrique. Voilà, vous avez bien sûr compris son plaisir et sa joie de recevoir un trophée en Afrique. Et euh, la nuit des bâtisseurs est justement une belle tribune pour exprimer ce plaisir et surtout ressasser les souvenirs de cette institution aujourd'hui séculaire. Mesdames et messieurs, nous allons passer à la...